Hey guys, Max Convexity here. Hope everyone's having a great evening. All right, let's look at this TRES, this uh, Treasury Alternative Yield Fund, or whatever they're calling this thing, enhanced, the, the Defiance Treasury Alternative Yield ETF. All right, yeah, it's tiny. Look at this. It's only, it's not even 3 million under management, 150,000 shares outstanding. I mean, all right, so they finally gave us some new trades to work with. It looks like they let two of their options expire. This is a four-legged trade. Two of the legs expired on Friday. And then they reestablished those two legs with two new legs that, that uh, expire in two weeks. So, so now all four options have the same expiration. When the, first, when the trade first started, the sold options had two weeks left to go on them, and the bot options, the long leg legs, had four weeks. Now the long legs have two weeks, and the first set of sold legs are, are gone. They've expired, so now they're putting on another set of sold legs. So this is no longer a calendar situation. This is just a straight spread situation. Um, it's, it's called a uh, it's called an iron it's actually an, an unbalanced iron butterfly or a ratio iron butterfly um, and what it literally is is it's a short straddle and a long strangle times two um, so all right, let's check this out. Originally, they had the short legs were a short 93 put and a short 93 call uh, that expired Friday. Um, the 93 put they sold for 85 cents and it expired worthless, so they realized the whole 85 cent profit. On the 93 call, they sold it for a buck 69 and they had to cover it for 85 cents. It expired 85 cents in the money. It was a uh, 93 call, and TLT finished the day on Friday at uh, 93.85. So they they you know they had to pay 85 cents to close it, but still they made that profit there. They made about a dollar. They made a pretty nice profit between the two options. I updated the spreadsheet. <clears throat> I I have that they made fifty four thousand dollars on the the short options the short legs were the the, the short legs were these bottom two options right here so they're short 325 each and then long 650 of the top two these bottom two here that cost them about or they when they sold them initially they got about eighty two thousand dollars that's max credit they I mean that's max profit they could have made because they were sold options well out of that 82 they had to pay 27 to close it so they held on to 54 okay so they still have these long options up here uh the 94 call and 92 put they haven't done any, anything with those initially cost about 157,000 right now they're only worth about <clears throat> 70 or 80,000 so they've decayed quite a bit They've decayed quite a bit, so that the whole position, the entire position, is underwater twenty thousand or so. This short leg made us money. The only thing I'm thinking is that they're doing twice as many short legs as long legs. They, if they're going to keep doing this strategy like they've done so far, a four-week strategy, but where they sell options for two weeks, then that expires, then they reestablish. Um, if they're going to do something like that, that might that might make sense because they're using the fact that the options they sell expire twice as often so you get two bites of the apple in the same time you just take you just you you know you that you don't that you hopefully on the long options don't suffer as much decay as you're able to make especially considered you have two bites of the apple all right well i put it in a back tester and it does look promising all right, here it is. So this is the trade um, 
in a back tester short a put a 50 which is at the bunny and short a 50 call which is at the bunny and then long two 40 puts and 40 calls you know slightly out of the bunny well uh the and the ones you're short expire in two weeks two weeks is 10 days you know five days in a trading week and these expire in you know 20 days which is a month you know calendar time but anyway um this trade right here has a positive expectancy you know but it only wins 50 percent of the time if they would If they would put a profit target on here, look how much better they could do. So I put a profit target on here and the average profit went from like a dollar and a half a trade. The average profit doubled. The largest profit was higher. On the last strategy, the largest profit was 1100. This time it's 1400. Watch, I'm gonna take this off of here, the profit objective and just have it where you just hold it till expiration. But it looks like even if you just hold it till expiration, this is an advantage trade. I mean, there's 601 instances, so it's, it's a pretty good sample size. Actually, when you did the profit target on it, it made the largest profit smaller. Look at that. The I, I like the, okay, this way is only $1.37 per day. When you put a profit target on it, it makes it way more profitable on average, but it does cut off some of your largest profit because it was 1,600 the other way. Now it's only 1,400 this way. In any event, I think this right here is what they're trying to take advantage of. They're trying to take advantage of the fact that options that are sold that are nearer term, it will right before expiration is when the options decay the fastest and i just think they're trying to take advantage of the the nearer options decaying at a faster rate than the front than the back options the ones they're using for a hedge all right guys you guys have a good evening i'll talk to you later